Hey everyone, this is my 4th of July manicure. And as you can see, I alternated red and blue. I didn't have time to do a tutorial, so I'm just going to do a photorial. So let's go ahead and jump on in it. I used LA Colors Base Coat Top Coat. I prefer this as just the base coat. I tried it as a top coat as well, and it smeared my nail design. And it's really watered down, so I've been impressed with it as just the base coat. And then on my nails that are red underneath my crackle, I used a second base coat of Sally Hansen Hard to Get. And I used that because I used the Sally Girl Mini Red Bottle Nail Polish. And after a couple days of wear, it tends to turn pink. So I figured let's go ahead and let me go ahead and try using white underneath. And so far it's actually stayed. I did this manicure about two days ago and I'm really impressed with it. <clears throat> and then for my blue, I used China Glaze Dorothy Who. And as you can see, it's really it's a very pretty glittery blue. I'm really into glitters right now. And then on my nails that are red to match the glitter on my blue nails, I went ahead and used Pure Ice Don't You Wish. It's their multi glitter glaze. So I brought that just to give a little extra pop to the red. And then I ended up using a crackle because I don't have any nail plates that have. 4th of July theme on them so I went ahead and did the China Glaze lightning bolt and I really like this one I actually like this better than the OPI one believe it or not because the way that it cracked it cracked really good and you really just make sure you use a thin layer of it otherwise like my ring finger that you're going to get this big strip if you do it really thick. So there it's, this is my right hand. So, anyways, I hope this inspires everybody for the 4th of July. And I'm thrilled and can't wait to see what everybody else comes with. <clears throat> and I also wanted to just say a little personal message. Um... I live in Colorado, and there's about nine or eight fires burning right now. Our largest one is the Waldo, the Waldo Canyon Fire, and that is currently at 17,000 acres, and that is burning in Colorado Springs, and it's 25 to 30% contained, and that is the largest fire in Colorado's history. Um, this hits pretty close to me, not only because I live in Colorado, but because I was born and raised there. And um, for anybody who lives in Colorado and is viewing this, and for anybody who's visited Colorado, I hope that, you know, you know what the Garden of the Gods looks like, because it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, we have the balancing rock and that's pretty much just this big huge boulder balanced on one tiny boulder and you it's just amazing and um there's a pretty much all of our firework um shows have been canceled and so but yet you could still see that people are still selling them and people are still buying fireworks and I just want to let everybody know that if you're buying them, I don't get why you're even doing that because you live in a state that has had a heat wave over the past two weeks. And we don't know if the Waldor Canyon fire was started by one person or a lightning strike. You know, it's being investigated and if it's found to be arson, there's a hefty penalty. Um, there's a couple other smaller fires 
a couple have been started by a person, a juvenile, in fact, and, um, you know, you just, you gotta be smart about it. We, when you live in Colorado and you live in the mountains and all those forests, you gotta have to take under consideration that, you know, we can tend to be a dry state. And so, all I ask is that those who, if you're living in Colorado, if you're out of state and you are living in one of those states that has fires going on and heat waves, that you be responsible and you leave the fireworks to experts who know what to do if it gets out of hand. If a fire breaks out or someone gets injured and that... Um, you just take care of yourself. You just watch out for yourself and be careful on the 4th of July because it can be really scary, you know. I can tell you that it's, people are being smart where I live because I haven't seen any fireworks going off in the street. I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything. I haven't seen anything in the sky, that's for sure. So I'm glad that people are being proactive about it, but there are some people who obviously like to blow things up, so fireworks I, are, you know, their toys around this time. So I just wanted to pass that, you know, obviously don't drink and drive. So everybody, enjoy your 4th of July. Take care. Bye.